Welcome, everybody, to Live at the Hive broadcast from the Boise Hive in Boise, Idaho. The Hive is a volunteer-run musician's resource. We offer inexpensive practice space, mental health support for free, and we have a small food bank that you can donate to. If you or someone know or wants to talk with one of our counselors, which we have here in-house, please email us up at email us at thrive at the Boise or excuse me thrive at boisehive.org. So without further ado, please welcome the old one too. Right, 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 right. They're always saying things 
kind. Uh, I want to thank uh, Fugue State Ravens for uh, hooking up this show for us. Really excited for it. Uh, Jay and I go way back. Chris and I have been in regular contact for a little bit now, and uh, Chris has expressed some uh, likes for some of our songs. This next song is called Boyfriend. This goes out to the uh, Houston Ravens. State Ravens. I'm super excited for this. So. Again, thank you guys so much for having us. Thank you, Hive, for having us. 
This next song is called Dead Will Walk.
Thanks, guys. I got one more public service announcement here, and that's that Doug, uh, this is our first show with Doug, who joined us a couple months ago. Want to welcome him with uh, open arms. Thanks, Doug. So, anyway, Doug's here. So, <laughs> Doug's great. We love Doug. That's what that's why we're in a band with him. It doesn't work out the other way. Give Doug a chance, everybody. Stocking down on Doug, dude. It's fucked up sometimes. I like to get down with Doug.
Hive. We are live, actually, and we are with the old one, too. I actually just heard them play, and I think they're pretty dope. We're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and introduce the band. You guys, go ahead and say your name for me. Hi, my name's Roger. Bob. Jay. And Doug. Heck, yeah. They were they were really cool. you got to check them out, guys. The old one, too. You guys, I'm going to ask you some questions. Uh, how, lo- how long uh, have you guys been playing together? We started off in 2007. It was me and Roger and this guy uh, Jason, who is like since moved away. But uh, and then we finally uh, got Jay to join in on us. He was playing with a, a different band at the time, and he didn't know if he he wanted to do it. And we finally, you know, gave him enough crap about it that he finally <laughs> admit, you know, conceded to do it. And you know. We were playing with a drum machine before that for a couple months, which was not great. And uh, so, yeah, Jason kind of like left the band, then came back, and then ended up moving away. And then we just got Doug uh, a few months ago, and uh, this is our first show with him. And super stoked about like the the extra guitar, and you know, great stuff, great stuff. They got a really cool sound. Um, the next question I have for you guys is, uh, how uh, how did you get acquainted or interested in the Boise Hive? Anybody want to answer that? I think I first heard about it when, because uh, <clears throat> Jay was playing with a groggy bikini, and uh, I know John Hale was uh, was very instrumental, or he was like a big booster of this place at the very least, and so I heard about it through groggy bikini, and then... Uh, yeah, and then uh, of course you know when you need a, a place to jam uh, and don't have a lot of money, it's uh, this is really really nice to have around. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I love that part of it too. All right. Well, how would you guys describe your sound? Anybody want to take that one? <laughs> I think we're. It's kind of a cliche question, but really it kind of connects you with the audience a little. All over the place. I think our sound has changed and evolved certainly over 16 years. You know, you know, we started off as three songwriters. You know, and we all had sort of different tastes. There was some uh, some indie rock and some punk rock and some more like stoner guitar. You know, rock going on, and we kind of just melted that all together. You know, and. Now, you know, all of us are instrumental in the songwriting. Nobody's like a songwriter by any means, you know. We all have a part in it and uh yeah, again, I think all our What's the name of that zombie song? Uh, zombie song. The Dead Will Walk. That was cool. So yeah, again, it's just like we just kinda write music. We're trying to like stay off the beaten path a little bit and just write music that I, we think is cool, you know. So Rad. That's awesome, you guys. Okay, what do we got? Yeah, so as you guys all know, uh, here's the Boise Hive. Our our main focus is uh, suicide prevention, and um, and 
do you, I, I wanted to ask you guys you don't have to answer or whatever you feel comfortable but have, if you've ever had any experiences with that with friends or family in trouble or uh, needing to talk to someone and maybe how your music incorporates kind of integrates with that a little yeah actually you know I, I, I wrote a song called uh, Alone and uh, we don't we haven't played it for a long time but it, it was based on two people I personally knew who you know unfortunately took their own lives and you always obviously wonder if they'd had somebody to talk to or obviously I was distanced from them they were living in other states you know we you know had all kind of grown apart but you always wish that like one of you'd made that phone call that day you know could it have prevented it you know you don't know when somebody's hurting unless you're you know unless they let you know basically because <laughs> they it's definitely kept hidden but yeah we definitely write personal songs like that for sure cool cool awesome well what's next for you guys we're gonna uh we're gonna make we're gonna make two guitars work uh well not that it doesn't work well yet but we're like we're really gonna like make sure that we're just not like doubling a guitar sound man we're gonna doug is a very talented guitar player and as soon as something about that extra layer yeah, as soon as he figures out how to uh, work with me, who, uh, you know, shouldered a burden that I couldn't quite, that I maybe I wasn't quite prepared for for way too many years, I think we're going to be, I think what you saw today is going to be, you know, the... the you guys writing some new, you guys writing some new songs? Oh yeah, all the time. All the time. Cool. Prolific. I love that. All right. Well, uh, I think that, how much time do we actually have to do? Couple more, couple more questions. All right, well, let's look at what we got. Are you guys comfortable with the hive? <laughs> yeah. It's a space, cool, you know. yeah, it's a cool yeah. space, right? Yeah. It's like a grungy, cool space yeah. where people can hang out. And yeah. So, uh, all right. Well, uh, let's get to a, a very important question. Where can people hear your music? Uh, Spotify. We we have a, a full length r record on Spotify. Uh, if you search for the old one too, you might find a different band that's like from the east coast that's not the one you're looking <laughs> for yeah. uh that we've, was, we've uh, got a cartoon on the cover that's how you'll find us we also the old one com. you know we got in on the internet boom awesome. that, early enough that was, to get uh, that recorded and mixed and mastered oh. by andy agambrod at uh the chop shop so good friend of ours really supportive awesome. i can't wait to hear it i'm gonna go check it out once again, guys, my name's my name's Andy, and this is the Boise Hive live broadcast. These guys are the old one too, and they are freaking awesome. You should check them out. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks, Welcome back, everybody, to Live at the Hive, which is a live broadcast from the Boise Hive in beautiful Boise, Idaho. The Hive is a volunteer-run musicians resource. We offer inexpensive practice space, mental health support for free, and we have a small food bank that you can donate to. If you or someone you know wants to talk with someone or are in need of like counselors we have an email that you can uh, that you can utilize it's a thrive at boisehive.org that's thrive at boisehive.org without further ado we have another band on stage it is the Fugue State Ravens <laughs> Better fit! 
about as good as it's gonna get And he got the biggest crowd in history Ain't no fucking mystery to me Whatever is is what will be
song's called Firefly. Woo! song is called Billy C and it's about a man, about a 300 pound gorilla. There we go.
song about robbery. Yeah. One, two. <laughs> Two is great. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, they're awesome. We're playing another show with these guys here. Uh, what is it, the 23rd? That's correct. House show. They're going to rip it up. Now, this song's called uh, Dracula in Daylight.
All around me, got a hacksaw for a hand. 
song's called Industrial Halo. One, two. <laughs> Thanks everybody again. Amtrak police man. Police man. <laughs>
everybody to live at the hive broadcast from the boise hive in boise idaho you guys i am here with fugue state ravens and they just played and they are really dope you guys should go check them out and they are on are you guys on spotify and stuff we're on all of the platforms and you can find us on uh, the simple records is our record label out of of boise idaho here so you can find us uh you can find all our stuff there simple Simple records very simple records fugue state ravens all right everybody go check them out guys uh thank you very much for playing at the hive um, and I'd like to remind everybody at this point that the Hive is a, is a volunteer-run uh, place, and we focus on um, suicide awareness. And I'd like to remind everybody watching that if you're feeling you know, like you need to talk to someone about that, there is a number 988 that you can call, and you should not hesitate because it's a serious thing, and you cannot let it get out of control. So uh, without further ado, let's ask you guys some questions. How long have you guys been playing together? We've been playing together for about 30 years. We started as a punk band here in Boise. We kind of had a, like a glory day scene in Boise, Idaho in the 90s. Maybe now is a glory day to another generation. But in the 90s, there was a, a pretty kick-ass DIY punk scene uh, all around this club, the Crazy Horse. And that's where all these bands and stuff, like teenage punk rock bands and stuff, we'd go throw down. And uh, we had a band called Angered Youth at the time. There were loads of good, the malnutrition, the adversity. We had all the, like just a team of awesome like DIY punk bands here. So. Jeremy and I started playing. We we met in Mountain Home, uh, two punk rock kids growing up in a in a in a bad town, and uh, got together, started making music, dragging our amps across like fields to each other's houses, and uh, kind of locked in. And then we've been playing ever since. This is our latest iteration. We kind of we kind of parted ways for for a decade or so. Jay went to become a timber framer, and I went out to L.A. to learn a trade. And we got back and started making music together. And this is what we came up with. It's what it's all about enjoying yourself right yeah so let's i forgot to introduce you guys let's let's get your names yeah i'm chris i'm jeremy 
Hell yeah. All right, Jeremy, you got some tat you got some cool tattoos, I got to admit. All right. So uh you guys, how how'd you feel about playing at the Hive tonight? Do you like it up here? Do you are you comfortable here? Yeah, this is our, our second time playing at the Hive and uh I liked it. It was fun. It was fun last time. Yeah. Cool. Good yeah. stage, lights, you know, nice atmosphere, good vibe, good feel. We have a great time doing it. It's always, it's always a blast, dude. It's yeah. killed it. What I like about it is like it's really grungy and it feels like yeah feels like when you were a kid you know like it, oh, yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah yeah for real so uh how did you guys how you, you mentioned that you've been together for a long time how did you get together how'd you meet well i mean we were we 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 were living in the same town we both kind of grew up in mountain home idaho um so we met each other probably like our paths crossed around 1994 yeah we were at another band's band practice we were at another band's band practice and they were playing some songs and we were thought we could probably, we could probably do, do something that. better than this <laughs> so that we did and that's yeah. just how it started uh yeah we had a friend uh, a friend of ours a friend of ours mike who uh kind of taught me to play guitar so we just started throwing together you know like three chord songs he he played bass uh jay was on the drum kit and we just we just kind of went from there pretty soon we were playing pretty regularly at the crazy horse really we were we were playing a lot of shows there for the longest time until it was a uh, it was closed down and then like the whole scene moved to another venue called the house of rock and we rocked that house until it kind of just dissolved i guess like bands do you know like <laughs> just kind of went away and we went off and did other things in life and like i said met back, met back up in mountain home like started a band here we are super cool how would you guys describe your sound god we were just talking about that today <laughs> that's so hard i mean to me what we've been doing it's always been punk rock. Yeah. Our version of it, I suppose, you know, but I think, we're I think we're, we're, we've kind of, we're settling with maybe folk, <laughs> punk. There's a lot of genres out there, and we don't want to be left out of any of them because we want to yeah. play all shows possible. We've been talking a lot about, like, oh, yeah, you know, what do we call ourselves? And is it acoustic punk? Is it folk punk? Those are kind of, I think, like almost industry monikers yeah. at this point. So we, we've been calling them punk it's punk rock to us i mean that's what it is maybe it's maybe it's roots punk you know what i mean stripped it down but yeah, that's, totally. that's where the i can is. definitely tell that you guys have some punk roots yeah. for sure yeah it's a very cool sound um so uh what's next for you guys i don't know we got some more shows we got more shows lined up this month we're gonna do another one with the boise trans collective a house show at the foxhole we've got a show at the shredder on august 12th, august 12th. with a <laughs> with a satanic Bluegrass, bluegrass band, band called the pentagram string band they're called the pentagram string band I, yeah. I don't know where they're from but they're on tour and we're playing with yeah. them at the shredder august 12th and you know you need to be there for that you know i'll probably check that out and then yeah. uh, simple fest the label that we're with uh this is the second annual simple fest happening august 18th and 19th august 18th it's at the uh mad suite downtown and on the 19th it's at the shredder so check that out there's a, lots of great bands that's a locally done our, our man seth idol at simple records he uh, he puts that together. That's a two-day punk festival. The, this is our second annual year doing it, so it's, it's growing. It's growing. It's kind of a we're calling it like a space for all the tree fort rejects right now. <laughs> <laughs> the tree fort rejects. That's a good one. People that can't play a tree fort. Except for Kid Catapult. He's legit now. <laughs> That's cool, man. I like that. We're also got music in the works. Yeah. Yeah. We've been in the studio. We're just. We're in the final mixing phases of four songs. Three will be on a seven-inch record on Simple Records. The other will be released as a single. I have a couple music videos coming out, hopefully by the end of the year. Yeah, yeah, we've been busy. Yeah. <laughs> we've been busy. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to remind everybody watching, too, if, if you have a band that you want to play, hit us up. Um, we do have an email. It is thrive at boisehive.org that's thrive at boisehive.org you guys I'd really like to thank you for coming in and playing tonight you guys were cool and it was really different and I really enjoyed it I just want to say thanks to the hive yeah. too and everything that you guys do here is really really special really important for our community and our, and our community of musicians so thanks so much for everything you do thank you guys alright thanks for everybody for tuning in
you say will never run out of interesting things to talk about. Strawberry daydreams, cheap chocolate ice cream, darling, don't you ever doubt. Look around.